Welcome, thank you for joining this video series. This video series is going to show how to implement CX switching into Aruba Central new version 2.5.2. .2. So we're going to have uh, four separate videos here. The first one here we're going to talk about onboarding a switch into Central. The second video will go over templates. Then we will discuss, uh, the third video will discuss monitoring and reporting. And the, finally the fourth will be covering troubleshooting. To start off, it's important to note that this central instance that I'll be using is our internal instance for Ruba and HPE employees, so it may look different than what would a customer would see. It's an important thing to note, some things to note before bringing in a CX switch into central, that all switches need to have direct internet connection, whether over the default or management VRF. Uh, switch needs to be able to handle DNS, so it needs to be able to uh, either have D DNS, uh, DNS server options in the DHCP or have DNS uh, manually configured on the switch previously. We don't currently have support for proxy, so that's coming at a, that'll be coming in future enhancements of AOS CX, so currently it has to have a direct internet access. Uh, the switch needs to have direct internet access so that it can reach the central servers. Uh, most importantly, it needs to be able to reach outbound on port 443. Uh, so for any firewall rules that need to be implemented, that's important to know. Another thing to know is uh, VSF stacking isn't supported in a workflow in Central, so currently the VS the stack needs to be configured previously before bringing the switches into Central. So you can do that using the mobile app, the CX mobile app, or manually with with the uh, CLI. From a customer perspective, one of the differences that we'll see here is that licenses will be automatically be, be provisioned in Central for customers, and devices will be uh, onboarded from the uh, factory into the central account. So just remember that this is an internal instance, so I will be manually uh, adding devices into central, as well as if anyone chooses to manually add devices, this is uh, one way to do it. So first thing, we're starting here, this is the main dashboard into Aruba Central. So from here, we need to get our, we'll go over the different aspects of this for switching uh, as this video series progress. But let's start out actually physically adding the devices into Central. So from here, we click on this little grid icon here at the top right corner. This is the account home. So first, you'll go to this dashboard when you log in, but we need to go to the account home. So we're going to navigate to that screen. And then once we're in account home, there's different things we can do. We can manage our subscriptions. We can manage our device inventory. Uh, manage our subscription keys, user enroll access to that, you can do our audit trail, single sign-on, access the API gateway, and then manage any webhook endpoints. So for this we're just going to be worried about de device inventories and subscription assignments. So let's first click on this device inventory. And so I need to add my switches into Central. So I'm going to do this, I'm going to manually do this by uh, cheating here. You can get this information, the serial number MAC address from the show system command in uh, CX. Uh, I already have a copy and paste or, um, pasted into a notepad, so I am just going to, as we see here, I'm just going to copy and paste uh, this information into the add devices command. So I'm going to add in my two switches, and note, once I've already added in, whoops, now that I've already added in mine, when I started copying the uh, next version, the next uh, line, uh, the next serial number, it had already added the device uh, sex successfully into Central. So we're going to add the second serial number in here. And the MAC address. Whoops. Control C is not working very well on my keyboard. Copy. There we go. So then once that's done, we click done once, it adds in the device, and then done again. And now our devices appear in central. And we can see here one's already has a connection into central. 
So we can see that indicated by the green dot. So now that we've successfully added our device into Central and we can see that it has connection to Central, we then need to add, a, add the subscription to it and place it into a group. So first thing we're going to do is we need to go back to our account home. Then we're going to go back to the subscription. We're going to go to the subscription assignment page. Now there's a couple of ways that we can apply the subscription. First, we have this auto subscribe feature where we can turn this on and then it will automatically auto subscribe however many subscriptions you have available. It will automatically apply those subscriptions to all devices in the inventory. So if you have a hundred subscription licenses and you have a hundred switches, all those switches will automatically be, uh, all those subscription licenses will be automatically applied to all those switches. So for this video, we are not going to do that way. We'll just, we're just going to do it manually. So here, if you notice, uh, switches that have a subscription already activated are checked and it says that they are subscribed. So these two 6300s here, we're going to check and update the subscription. So once we do that, that pushes the, that uh, subscribes the devices into central. Um, and then we know that our subscription has been applied uh, successfully. There are other licenses below for uh, you know, mob mob mobility gateways or um, other services that we can apply to, but for switching, this is the screen that we use specifically for our CX devices. So now that subscriptions have been applied, we can go create our group. So we're going to go back to the account home, and then we need to launch into network op operations. And then from network operations, we can create our template group. So there's two types of groups in Central that we can configure. There's a UI group, which has limited functionality, uh, mostly for doing uh, limited UI configuration, limited configuration through the Central UI. Or there's a template-based group, which actually allows us to templatize configurations and then push them to devices. CX currently only supports template-based groups. So from our little navigation screen here at the top left, we can uh, open up and see the groups section, and we see this little gear wheel here. Gear wheel here. That is our settings menu. So we're going to click on that, and that will take us to our group configuration page. So from here, we're going to create a new group, and we're going to name the group 6300 VSF. Now, if we want to create a template group, we would check these devices. If we wanted a UI-based group, we would simply, UI-based group, groups need a password, so we would just simply configure a password here and add the group. But since CX devices require a template group, we're going to click both switch and IAP gateway, because if we only clicked one, then the other would be a UI group, and we'd still have to configure group password uh, settings. So in this case, and the group password is to secure the group so not anyone can access it. So we're going, and by doing a template, we secure the device with the password that we configure in the template group. So here we're going to go ahead and add this group. And now we see our group's been configured. And then we're just going to simply drag our device over to that group. And it's going to ask us to confirm this action. Now, if we're moving, if we move devices between groups, that's going to change the configuration according to whatever template is configured. So if you have a group that does not have stacking configured into the template, and you try to move a stack into there, uh, you could have some issues with trying to push that template to the device. So the warning here is to make sure that we understand we have the appropriate uh, configurations in the template before moving devices around. In this case, we have an empty template group since we just created a new group. So we're going to go ahead and click yes. And we see the device uh, counter has increased. And so now our device is registered in the group. And if we go to the group, just go to our group listings, we can see our group has been configured. If we click on devices in the group, we can see our device now shows up. So the next step is we need to 
uh, create a template and a configuration for the device. So this was for onboarding. Uh, hopefully this has been beneficial showing you how to onboard a device. The next video will talk more in depth about templates.